nowhere. Oh, you are reading goodness. into the text wow. a criminal reading. Wow. Let me let me explain. At least, at least, of a can, shallow at least reading we can agree. Hold on. Let's agree to one thing. Let's shake hands. We're on friends. What? On what? On what? At least we can agree. Because I got to make sure with no, you because no, no, no. you slick. Relax, relax, bro, relax. <laughs> at least you can say from a reading of the text, just the text by itself. See, there it is again. How is that a, See? from a shallow reading? Thank, thank so you. Jesus is saying that he is the only one who knows the Father. He knows God. Right. Everything about him. Okay. Knows him fully. Doesn't that demonstrate that Jesus is explicitly claiming to have an omniscient mind? I'll let you finish. I'm asking this question. Let's we'll see how, how consistent you are. Okay. So does Allah not have a veil? Okay, let me explain it to you. A lot. Let me explain. Perfect. Uh, family's good. It's good to see you. Good to see you're all right. You're sharp as usual. Appreciate it. Energetic as usual. Appreciate it. You know, so I'm glad that you're okay, I first of all. appreciate the civil discussion, man. A lot of the people getting a little crazy, but we already talked about this. Mm -hmm. You know what? We don't support that violence and yep. getting crazy. People need to talk it through. Man. Yeah, so what what I what I like to do, because since I just started my platform, nice. what I like to do is try to show how interfaith dialogue, even though we fundamentally disagree on everything, basically. Everything? Not just, everything. I said basically. Come on, bro. I said we basically. We both believe there is a God. We do. Okay, so but we don't disagree. That's, that's what I said basically. That's not. I said not everything right, basically. Let me, let me, let me take it. One, let, me, let me say something, all right? Yeah. I think we agree on a lot more than we disagree on. Yeah, I think that right? I can line okay, up with that. Let me, let me mm -hmm. go with that, right? Mm -hmm. We both believe there is a creator. Yeah. Right? We both believe that that creator sent guidance. Yeah. Like atheists, agnostics, they're going to, the majority of the people that are nowadays attacking our moral values yeah. would disagree with that. Yeah. Me and you both disagree with LGBTQ lifestyle, yeah. right? Yeah. Right? Or yeah. you selling out? No, no. You're keeping it real, right? <laughs> you just said No, I'm serious, because a lot of your Christian brothers be selling out on that You're stuff. You're absolutely bro. right. You're See absolutely how much right. we agree on? You're absolutely right. right. Let me keep going. Abortion. Yeah. How are you going to yeah. say we fundamentally on everything? No, I didn't I say everything. I said basically. Basically. I said right. basically. Like fundamental belief like Fundament there's a God? Right. So like, right. so right. Now, well, now, hold on, hold in hold regards hold on. to... One, one more thing. Oh, one more thing. Sure. Jews would say Jesus was born out of wedlock. Me and you would both agree that he was born miraculously to Virgin Mary. Yeah. So me and you actually agree on more than me, than you and Jews. Sure. So, okay, I, so, so I, I, I wasn't. So this, this is what I was saying. All right. Even though we have, let's say, many, sure, many fundamental, fundamental disagreements. disagreements, we can still do this. Sure. Laugh as we're just talking, yep. dapping it up, yep. chopping it up, yep. and I want more Christians and Muslims who see this stuff to be able to have these conversations without the malice, without the uh, we got to one up you and right. yada yada yada. I like agree. you, you're so. Your style, I, I love your style because it's, you know, you can joke with me right. and I will never take it personal. You can say little stuff that I know it's not right. like evil or malice. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's funny to me. You and know, that's how and, you and are. I like, want it's good cool. for you. Yeah. I wouldn't want any Muslim attacking you. Yeah. I wouldn't want any Muslims using violence against you. Yeah. I tell all the Muslims out there that we can have civil discussions. People that resort to making little clips of personal insults at home while they're sitting in their bathrooms, like your buddy Sam, I don't oh, support man. that. Like, I'm here, I'm here, me and him can sit face to face and have a civil discussion without calling anybody's mom's names and things like people do, yeah. because I don't think that's Christian-like, right? Yeah, well, yeah, so, right, good. Yeah, so, I, so that's why I like our decor. That's why I like our decor, and I hope people can learn from it. Me too. And so, that's what I'm, you know, I'm trying to grow that. Cool. So, I, I had a question. Go for it. Um, about the Messiah. All right. So from from the Islamic perspective, okay. what does Messiah mean? So you're talking about Messiah, right? Mm -hmm. Messiah is like a messenger. Somebody who comes to guide people and to bring them a message and be a, a, a basically a instrument of guidance for people. Okay. Right? So for example, they have the false Messiah, Messiah Dajjal. Yeah. Right? Now he's got his own message. But his message is a false message. Yeah. Right? So Isa ibn Maryam, for example, he was the one that came and he guided people towards the truth. Right. Right? So he can be called a Messiah in that sense. So my question then would be, uh, then could Muhammad or even Noah or any of the other prophets count as being messiahs? So in Arabic, we use two terms. Right? Before prophet and Rasul, right? Uh, one is Nabi, Nabi and one is Rasul, Rasul yeah. right? So 
already know this stuff. A little bit. I have learned a little bit. So every prophet who, who is chosen is Mustafa, right? Mustafa, like the one who's chosen, is going to be a prophet. But not every one of them will be a Rasul. Right. Right? Because Rasul gets Risala. They get the message. a message revealed to them, right? So Islamically, yes, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ibrahim Alayhi Salam, because he had the Suhuf, Isa, Jesus, Ibn Maryam, and he, those are all Rusul, and you can call them in that sense Messiahs as well. Okay, so you can call the other sure. Prophets Messiahs. Why not? So why aren't they called Messiahs? They are. I mean, what do you mean they are not? So, okay, so Muhammad, Ali Noah, and these, these, these other prophets, they're called right. messiahs? You could call them messiahs if you like. I mean, what do, you, what do you mean they're not called? So, nowhere do we find, we only find Jesus being identified as the messiah. Where? In the Quran and the in, Hadith. In the Quran, in a Hadith, for example, when we talk about them being Rusul, right? This puts them at the same thing as being a messiah. Right? Really? Yeah, somebody so, who's so bringing where, a message. Where is, where, okay, so what is a reference for that? Like, sure, is, is, I, it, is it in the Quran or a Hadith where you can equate a, that, a Rizul, like you said, sure, right, to, to a, messiah. a Messiah? No problem. I'll get you on that. All right. You going to give me some time, look up some books? Or? Yeah, I need, <laughs> I need something. <laughs> no, no, but you, you just came out here from nowhere, right? Like, you didn't ask me to look this up or anything, right? Actually, yeah. So, so you got a question? Spot. No problem. Come back next Sunday. We'll bring you some books. Okay. So, cool. okay. So, from, from my understanding... Uh, it's it's only Jesus from what I've read just so from far. Where so did you read that? Just the Quran and Hadith is that only Jesus is identified no, as the Messiah. What I'm saying is, where in the Quran did you find that it's only for Jesus being a Messiah? Well, I've only seen him called the okay, Messiah. No problem. So if we bring you some references of other being called Messiah or the meaning of Messiah and Rasul being the being similar and same as being the leader and those that bring the message, then you're good. If it comes from the Quran or the Hadith, then sure, okay, no problem. You know, so like uh, if if somebody else can qualify, if like Muhammad or Moses can qualify as a messiah okay. as the messiah I'd like to see that reference cool. because it's 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 interesting to me especially coming from a Christian perspective okay. when I read the Quran and I see okay it identifies Jesus as the messiah okay. no one else so why him why why does it specifically identify him as the messiah but again I think you're getting stuck up on a word because what is the meaning exactly right so when you have risala when you have somebody who's going to bring a message, Rusul, right? They're mm -hmm. also going to bring the people together and follow them and teach them, right? But so, so is that what Messiah means? Sure. Someone that brings a message. A message who leads the people, who guides the people. They're the one that was chosen, the one that was sent. Yes. Okay. So, you, all right. So which one is it? It's, it's, it's just, again, you're, 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 Arabic I'm trying is, to, I'm trying to pinpoint it. Sure, sorry. I got you. But Arabic's not like that, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like a, a, me, a word has depth in it. Right. Right. So what is a Rasul? Right. Rasul has Risala, but he's also a leader. He's also a prophet. Right. He's also somebody who's chosen. Right. So some terms are going to be because maybe the Aramaic terms or Abrahamic terms would match them. But the meaning in the end would have to come to those who get a message, who lead a people, who will be the ones that were chosen. Very good. Right? So, so okay, yeah, 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 go ahead. Sorry. Like, for example, Nestafa mm. comes the word Mustafa. You know what Mustafa means? No. All right, so at least your trip wasn't going to be wasted. You're going to learn something new. Good, right? yeah. I learned something every time. Good, good. Mustafa is the one who's chosen. Mustafa is the Mustafa one who's chosen. Chosen, okay. right? Now, that name has come specifically for the Prophet ﷺ, Muhammad. Okay. Peace be upon him. They call him Al-Mustafa, right? Okay. But that doesn't mean that the other Prophets were not Mustafa, that they were not chosen. Very right? good. But because that had a particular connotation in the language in the time of its place, I love it. But we can say that those Ambiya that were Nastafa, that were chosen, were also chosen. They were also Mustafa. Mm -hmm. And the Nabi has that meaning as well. I like it. A Rasul has that meaning as well. I like it. So all of that you're gonna have to go into the linguistics and each word is gonna have depth. So that's that's important. You made an Good. important point. I like that it. Mustafa means the chosen one. Sure. And it doesn't mean that the other prophets weren't chosen because they were. Good. They were chosen, yeah. but Muhammad was chosen for specifically for that time and that purpose. Sure. And right? every every prophet was chosen for their time and their purpose. Right. So if we're now if we translate the same logic to what Messiah means, okay. and Messiah means chosen one. Sure. And we see that okay, it doesn't mean that everybody else wasn't chosen too. Other Good. prophets were chosen. Excellent. However, Jesus 
was chosen for a specific purpose. Agreed. Okay. We're so good. It, all right, so very good then. So it would mean that okay, this there is a reason why Jesus uh, explicitly and specifically is identified as the Messiah and him alone. So, so again, him alone, we're going to have to show you some evidences to show that the Messiah is not exclusive just to Jesus. Peace and blessings be upon him. He is well known through that, no doubt to that. But understand something, every prophet had a reason why they were chosen for their time and their place. Okay. Right? For example, if you look at Ibrahim, Ibrahim alayhi salam, you know Abraham, right? Yeah. We both believe in Abraham. So you know, <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah. Common, right? <laughs> so now you have Ibrahim. He's particularly chosen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kana ummatan. He says something about him that he was an ummah, a nation by himself. Mm -hmm. Right? Now we also know there are other prophets that will come on the day of judgment that will not have anybody behind them. They will be an ummah to themselves as well. Right? Okay. But Ibrahim alayhi salam was specifically called out because of the great work that he did. He was chosen for his time. Musa alayhi salam, now he is chosen. Yeah. It's not that. Ibrahim is any more special or Musa is any more special, but he's chosen for his time and his prophet. Yeah. The prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu salam, he is the Mustafa, he is the Masih, he is the Rasul, he is the Nabi for his time. And sure. Jesus alayhi salatu salam was for his time. Okay. All right. So we good? <laughs> so so if, um, if you're saying that, and we agree that uh, certain prophets were chosen specifically for their own purpose sure. that God has called them for, Agreed. right? So we have Jesus who is not only being called a Rasul, right? But also called the Messiah. Sure. Muhammad's called the Rasul, the Rasul the Mustafa, Mustafa Amin, and, Ahmad. Uh -huh, and then you have Abraham being called other titles as well. Khalil. So. Which is interesting, right? Like Ibrahim is mm -hmm. called Khalil. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So Rasul Allah Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi is also Khalil. So then, but have you known that? Like, or don't just skip over what I'm saying. No, no, like, you like, see what I'm saying or no? No, I, like I, Ibrahim I, that's fine. is well known in the Quran as Khalil, right? In the Hadith, we know him to be Khalilullah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. But that doesn't mean that Rasulullah Muhammad is also not the Khalil of Allah. Because there are a Hadith that mentioned the Prophet Muhammad being Khalil as well. So, what, right? is, what does that mean again? Is that Khalil the, is the a friend? close, close friend. The friend? Yeah, it's not like Siddiq. Khalil is a very close friend. So Muhammad is also called the friend of God? Yes. In the Quran? In Hadith, yes. Oh, in the Hadith. Yeah. I haven't, hadith. I haven't seen that. Well, Which you haven't watched my series on the life of the Prophet or something, right? Uh, yeah, so what uh, narration is that? That's interesting. It's a Sahih narration. I, mean, I don't, again, like I taught Sira. Uh, I don't have it all. You don't got to memorize, man. No, not all that, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm expecting you. You know how many Hadith are out there? <laughs> There's thousands. Yeah, hundreds of thousands. So I haven't memorized all of them, but Alhamdulillah, I have a library. I have books. I can bring it to you. But him being called Khalil is in the beginning of my Sira Durus, the life of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay. So you can watch those. I give all the references, book, page, volume. Mm -hmm. And if you're really interested, I can get it and bring it to you as well. No all right, problem. very good. I got you. So, okay. So now coming back to the purpose of the Messiah. Excellent. What does uh, the Quran or the Hadith tell you that the purpose of the Messiah is? Is to lead a people, call them towards Tawheed, like every other messenger. He brought a message from Allah to his people. So where do you get this from? The Quran and Sahih Hadith. I will bring you reference. If you want to know about Isa ibn Maryam by himself. Yeah, I, I want to know about the Messiah by okay. himself. So let's do this. I mean, because you didn't tell me that we're going to discuss this or something, right? I know. Okay, you're, so you're sharp, man. I got you. I like evidence-based discussions, right? Mm -hmm. I don't like just trying to, you know, pretend like you know things you don't know, right? Very good. So, if you want to know about the message and you want to look at particular ayat, you want to look at Sahih Ahadith, authentic Ahadith only, about the message of Isa ibn Maryam and what was the purpose, let me know ahead of time. I'll get the books for you from my library, mm -hmm. mark them up, bring them. You can take pictures, make copies for yourself, no problem. All right, that's you dope. You know we're here all the time. Yeah, that's dope. Right. So, right, so, so, this, so this is what... Like when I was looking into this, okay, good. what what struck me is um, how the Quran identifies Jesus as the Messiah sure. using this term, this title, Messiah, which is chosen, as you know, yeah, the chosen one. Who and brings a message? Who brings a? Uh, no, no. You don't think a Messiah brings a message? Well, it's it's not it's not just that. Okay. Because it's not just bringing the message, but. The Messiah, according to the previous scriptures, is supposed to be the redeemer of Israel, the redeemer of mankind, and the savior of the world, basically. Okay. So that's what the Messiah is supposed to do. So when you identify Jesus as this figure, okay. I'm thinking like, wow, so how do they uh, we, reconcile We love this? Jesus. I mean, uh -huh. if you think that we don't honor Jesus or we don't think him to be a great prophet, 
you know better than that, right? But the problem is when you say he's God, right? Like me and Danny were talking earlier about this, right? We would agree that God knows everything, right? Yeah. Like at all time, God is all knowing. Yeah. Right? So when we look in your Bible, Mark 1332. 1332. Look mm -hmm. at you, man. I still like the book, you know. <laughs> but of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Uh -huh. So clearly it says that of that day and hour, no one knows. Not that people forgot, no one knows. Not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Mm -hmm. So that clearly shows the Son cannot be God. Because that's like having a square circle. Either no. you know or you don't know. All right. So my question to you is, and so I mean, I'll, I'll, there's a question. You're gonna throw that question back at yeah, me. Yeah, of course. Come on. What about an answer? <laughs> no, I, this, well, this, this is how Jesus answered. He answered the questions a lot of times. <laughs> All right. So, so the first thing that I'm gonna ask you is, um, what is your assumption? Because you're obviously assuming that he's saying using the word no uh, in a form of ignorance right I'm, I'm just reading okay so <laughs> so what, I mean, so what, what is I'm not assuming have you read I think you know the English have language, you read right? have you read the <laughs> so, have you no. read have you read the previous verses before that sure so what's it about assuredly I say to you no what's it about I mean I haven't memorized you don't know it. No, come on man. I read when you bring a verse okay yeah, you yeah. got it highlighted gotcha. I'm expecting you to know the context sure so tell what me. is he talking about I, I mean I've read the Bible cover to cover Right? Come on, but Shake. Now you tell me the context. Okay, so right. I'll I'll tell you now. Go for it. So the context is Jesus is literally detail for detail telling you everything that's about to happen okay. up until his coming. Okay. Detail by detail, Excellent. destruction of the of the temple, right. destruction of the city, right. how the people how the persecution is gonna come, okay. the rebuilding of the temple, okay. the abomination of the Antichrist is gonna come. Gotcha. And how the sun will be darkened detail by detail by detail, detail by, by detail line, by, by line. detail. Okay. Exactly. And then all of a sudden uh -huh. says, Oh well no one knows the, the day of the hour, not even the sun, but the Father in heaven. Okay. So I'm going to ask you this. Does it make, I don't think that was an answer. No, no. Does it make sense to you? I was just trying to put this in perspective. Does it make sense to you for, number one, Jesus to lay out everything that's going to happen on that day up until that day yeah. and say that he doesn't know when, he, when he's yeah. going to come? It makes perfect sense. It doesn't make sense it, at all. The Bible doesn't make sense? No, 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 that, no. Your understanding of that okay, doesn't so make let me, sense. Let me ask. No, I'm, I'm not, I'm not okay, done. You asked a question. Does it make sense? I mean, yeah, you, you said okay, it makes, ahead, you, you said it makes ahead, perfect sense to you. So let me just, okay. so another way that this, you can look at this, okay. which is the correct way contextually, okay. is that Jesus is not speaking of knowledge when it comes to ignorance, but he's talking about declarative. It's look, a declarative look, 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 look. I, I know, I, you're, 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 I know, you know but it's, you're it's, it's, No, I'm not. You know, okay, look. Because uh, I want to show you. I want to show you an just, example. Just one second. No, can I show you an example? Let me just read it. Right? No, because, you, you read it already. You, you, look. Let me show you an example, but, Uthman. But, okay, let me just read it and you can show Go me. Ahead, I'll show you an example but after you read it. Go ahead. that day and hour, no one knows. That's pretty simple. After he just laid out everything that's about to happen. Yeah, exactly. So like I was going to say, but you didn't let me, but let me say it now. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He told us about the signs of the Day of Judgment, some very detailed signs, some very specific signs, right? But then when he was asked about when exactly is the Day of Judgment, he said, nobody knows except Allah, mm. right? I could tell you whatever Allah has revealed to the Prophet, yes, he would know. Mm. So whatever Allah revealed to Jesus, the son of Mary, peace and blessings be upon him, we love him, then yes, he knows. All those details that Allah revealed, yes, but some things only God knows, very only good. Allah knows. And that's exactly why, as you mentioned the context, that he's mentioning all the details, but then he says, but of that day and hour, no one knows. No. Not no one declares. Don't don't change words. I don't got to change own. anything. Don't put so, your own. Let so can finish. I show you an example now? All right, go ahead. No. Don't, don't put your own wording into it. Uh -huh. But no one knows, not even the angels in heaven. Not that the angels aren't going to declare it. It's that they don't know, nor the son, but only the father. Uh -huh. Go ahead. All right, very good. So go to uh, 1 Corinthians for me, chapter 2. Go for it. Here you go. You don't know where it is, man? You got to uh, right, go I, to I, it, I man. I was just trying to help you. Wrong out. way, man. You got to go the other way. Corinthians in the New Testament. Shake. I got you. I got you. Relax. Uh, we've gone over Corinthians many a time. All right, good. You should know where it is. You know, we will get You're rusty, you. man. You got all these highlights. I got you. Very good. <laughs> That's why. I got you right here, <laughs> and that's why I have these, right? So yeah. I can know where I can get you. All right, very good. Go ahead. Chapter 2. 
He said First Corinthians? Chapter 2. Chapter 2. All right. So let's go ahead and read. Go ahead, bro. All right. So this is Paul. Okay. Right? This is what he's so talking. Not Jesus. I'm just showing you an example of how Noah is asking, used. So I can be clear. I, I already told you. Okay. You got to read. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what he says. Um, and I, brethren, when I came to you, right? So he visited the, the, the believers in Corinth. Okay. Uh, did not come with excellent of speech or of wisdom, declaring to you the testimony of God. Okay. For I determined not to know anything okay. among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Okay. So here's my question to you. Okay. When he says that I determined okay. to not know anything okay. except Jesus and him crucified, okay. does that literally mean that Paul didn't know anything except Jesus and him crucified? Sure. So here, definitely Paul from, again, I'm not an expert on the Bible. You're just asking my opinion, right? Uh, just, sure. Just, lo <laughs> just, uh, just a logical conclusion. No, no, no there's not a lot, because again, you would have to be looking at the textual background and all that, but I can tell you my opinion. In my opinion, what he's saying is that the emphasis that all he has is on Jesus and his crucifixion. Exactly. Right? But there's a difference here. This is why I said you can't play with verses. There's not a difference. I wasn't done. Look, you're not done? No, because there's, okay, not, a, there's uh, not a difference. I'll let you finish. So, Uthman, listen. Go ahead. When you, when, you, when you see a clear example sure. where Paul says, I determined to know nothing right. except... Okay. Jesus gotcha. and him crucified. Gotcha. So that means that it's not that he didn't know anything. Gotcha. It means that he only decided to declare or make known gotcha. Jesus and him crucified. Excellent. Clear example of how no is used. Excellent. And the context tells you. So when we go back to Jesus's example, right. where we see where he's literally laying out detail by detail, sure. everything that's happening. And then he says that the son doesn't know the hour, nor the angels, nor no man. He's not saying that he himself is ignorant of the day, okay. but he's saying that it's not for him to make known to them. It's okay. not for him to declare. There's okay. an example of this. Okay. Go to Acts chapter well, one, on. please. Let me, let, me, let me ask you a couple of things first. It, I, you gotta let me finish this. Okay, go ahead, I'm gonna let you finish it. So at, go to Acts chapter one, because he's asked the same question. And notice how differently he answers. Gotcha. Acts chapter one. I got you. Acts one, chapter one. Go ahead. All right, so let's see here, around verse 7, he said to them, oh, okay, so verse, uh, you're slipping, let's see, I'm <laughs> just trying to book, find bro? it, come on, <laughs> verse 5, I think it is, oh, uh, all right, here it is, so, uh, Acts chapter 1, okay, starting at verse 6, well, 5 or 6, that's uh, 6, okay, so it says, therefore, when they had come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, Will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? Same question that they asked him, right? Okay. Well, it's the hour of his right. right. And, that, and at the hour, he's talking about how the Son of Man will come and restore Israel. Okay. That's the same context of Mark, All right? right? Go ahead. We, agree, we in agreement? Kind of. Okay, Go good. Ahead. All right. So I'll take that. Go ahead. So watch what Jesus says. Okay. Verse 7. And he said to them, it is not for you to know. Okay. The times or the seasons which the Father has put in his own authority. Okay, the so Father. Not, notice how he doesn't say it's not for us to know. But or he doesn't, he doesn't say, say he doesn't no, stop. Please pay attention to the context. I mean, I don't don't jump. So, not notice, so why doesn't he say, I told you guys already, I don't know. Okay. But instead he answers and says, it's not for you to know you the done? times that the, uh, the Father has fixed. I'm going to let you finish. All right, yeah, I'm just wrapping it up. So how Jesus compares the, his coming, he compares it to a Jewish wedding in chapters previous to this. He compares this, this, the coming of the Son of Man to a Jewish wedding. And according to tradition in the Jewish wedding, it's the father that announces the day of the wedding. It's not the, bro the groom or the bride. The, yes, they okay. know. But they're not the one that makes it known. They're not the one who declares it. So this is the point. The point is, it's not a point of ignorance, but it's a point of declaration. And that's the issue. You good? Mm -hmm. All right, now. I hope you understood that. You I understood? Did. Okay, good. But uh, let me. You have an objection? Let me, let me, no, not an objection. I want to understand, right? All right, sure. So the first thing is that if, I, if you ask me, what do you know? And I lay out what I do know. Are you paying attention now? Are you? 
I don't listen. Right. <laughs> I don't want you to start getting to refutation mode. I want you to understand like I was listening, right? Yeah, you weren't so, listening, listening too, bro, too I'm good. Listening. Man. I'm listening. I'm gonna go to every one of those. Watch, right? All right, good. So if you were to ask me, like, like, how do you get from A to Z? And I lay everything out, and then you tell me what exit do I say? And I don't. I say I don't know the exit. Only my son knows the exit. That's, right? that's not what that oh, was. Hold on, let me, again, like, see now, instead of listening, you're, you're already refusing. No, but you're, you're, right? you're, you're me, laying it out. Example, okay. Right? Right, Just listen ahead. to my example. It's not like you're asking me I, I'm not. something. I'm, I'm giving an example. All right, go ahead. Then let me know what you think of it sure. when I'm done. Sure, sure, right? sure. So if I say, hey, go this way, go that way, turn this way, but the exit, nobody knows it but my son. That is giving the am, which is in Arabic, the, the total, and then taking the khas out, taking the specific out. That clearly shows that nobody knows the exit except my son. I'm not saying that that's all I know, or no, I know about it, but I'm not gonna tell you about it. That is saying that nobody knows it but one person. That is specific, okay? Now, on the other hand, if Danny asks me, hey, do you know about football? And I'm like, look, all I know about is the Raiders, right? That is a different term. That's not saying that I don't know the charges and things. I'm making a specific emphasis on something. Those are not the same context and you know that. And the fact is Danny earlier was telling me a totally different explanation. Yeah, there's two. that he did. So there's more than one. Yeah. Okay, what's the other one? Uh, the, well, whatever one Danny was Which giving you. Which one did you, he tell I, me? You I, said there's I, two, so you there, must there's, the there's, other one. There's two that I know of. What are the, what's the other I, one? I, I like to stick to this one. What's the one. other one? I like this one. Uh, so stick, stick to mine. Look at that. Oh, you look can at look that. at it. Stick, to, at stick to my explanation. Come on, bro. There could, His, there could stick be to my. More than one answer to yeah. There could be more. Hey. So, so you guys aren't really sure. Then you're guessing oh, no. here. Bro, it's not about not so sure. So which one is it? No. So notice. Okay. No. Okay, hold, okay, on. hold on. Hold on. Wait. I'm not even wait. done with my explanation. But yet, hold on, but Uthman. This is just interesting. Wait, Uthman. Notice right. how earlier when I asked you about the specific meaning of Messiah, sure. you gave me multiple meanings. Because I asked you which one is it, and you said there's depth to it. I will tell you. So don't. Sure, I will tell you. Be hypocritical. There's a difference. It's not hypocritical, right? If you say that that's a manly attitude, and I say, what does it mean manly? And you say, well, it has courage, and it also has this, it also has that. That is all correct, that is true. But if you tell me which way is north, there can't be two ways. No, so- but That's it, not the same no, thing. No, so, One word no. having multiple meanings and compensated in it is different than saying that what does it mean by not knowing one explanation that Danny gave, one that you gave. And just before we go on, just so I can know that you are being truthful, you said there's two explanations. To my knowledge, that, I, that, I, that I'm aware of. What's the other of. one? Uh, I don't want to discuss Why not? it because I'm focused on the one I'm no, no, talking but, about. But, but isn't that funny though? What? That, that there are multiple ways you try to go around this. There's no going around it. There's, okay, it's so called an explanation. One? What's the other explanation? So I, I like, me personally. I, I get what you I, like. So let's I'm stick to this. I'm just asking, what is the other one? You, you have to talk to another person that's going to bring that to you. You said you know it. I, look. You see, he won't even I, say it. I don't have to. Why not? Because I'm not going off subject. <laughs> I'm so, not going, this is the same subject. So, so very good. So subject. then stick to what I okay. gave you. Okay. Don't but, try but to drag this, is, this anywhere but else. But isn't this interesting that your own friend from Had, Clubhouse gave another explanation gave that I... Friend? Contradictory explanation. No, it's not that, contradictory. Not. He, he did you, contradict. Listen, he's saying, he's saying he's saying that Stop he did it. know. So, he just so, didn't so, declare. So, so Uthman, and what did you say? So Uthman, what said that he did know. You said so, that he forgot that he had no, put it no, away. I didn't say he forgot. Well, what did you say? Come on, Uthman. Tell the truth. Come what on, did you Uthman. say that? I said he Uthman, failed. you don't got to do that. So he didn't know it at the time. No, when I asked Uthman. you, you, you gave the Uthman. example Uthman. of somebody. Uthman. Let, Uthman. let me just finish. Uthman. 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 No, no, no. Because what you're, you said Uthman. that at that time he, he put it away like my friend. the subconscious. My friend. He couldn't recall it. Where is it? Uthman. So it wasn't that he wasn't declaring it. Uthman. It was not in his human. Hello. Hello. You know you guys are caught between each other. It's not caught. Let's go back. Let's go back to your. Let's go to if, your text if, if you're saying okay, if you're saying that two text. since there's two explanations for something yes. that that means that is contradictory then you have a whole lot of issues okay. with your definition of messiah okay. and what i've been asking you because you gave me multiple meanings once that again, don't equal each other you're jumping no let i'm not explain. jumping you jump let me, let me say this a third time okay. you're the one who jumped one word containing multiple characteristics does not mean yes for example oh. i said for a manly, so for it's Rasul, okay for, for you to do it, no, but it's no, not no, okay no, for no, us no, to no, have no. multiple it, explanations. It, it is not multiple explanations, and you That's know that. Interesting. You're just trying to get it out is. of this. It's all right, bro. Let me say it again, okay? Because I want, I want you to be clear, right? If I said that this is the main man, right? Well, what do you mean by main man, right? We can say, well, he's the leader, and he's also the most influential, and he's also the one who kind of people go for advice. That is not giving multiple different explanations. That is telling you all that is incompensated in that word. But for you to say that 
he did know, he didn't declare it. And for somebody else to say that, no, at that time in his humanness, when he came to the earth, that had become unknown to him until God would tell him are two different explanations. You know that's not the same thing. And let's go back to your verse. Different explanations doesn't necessitate again, contradictory explanations. Okay. But either Mom. he so that's, knew, that's what you gotta, either that's what he understand. knew and didn't declare, no, what, 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 or, no. or he didn't know at that time because he was in his human body. That's not what he and said that, to you. And, that and so is, that, and so when you're when you're given that to, that to, shallow to, type of understanding of it, that's it. Channel and see Come all on, the different Uthman. Christian preachers that have given that explanation Come on, that he did not know at the Come time on, because it was you're his human than that. body. You're better than you're, that. You're just trying to get out of this, but it's alright. There's right. no way to now, get out of it. Let's go back to Christ. There's absolutely no way around it. So let's go back to Jesus in Acts. Your your statement there, right? To Israel. And he said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority. This nowhere does it say that Jesus knew. Nowhere. Oh, you are reading goodness. into the text wow. a criminal reading. Let, wow. me, let me explain this again. If, Wait. if you. No, let me, let me finish. Woo! Let me finish. Let me finish. Woo! If you ask me. You said a criminal you, reading. Criminal reading, yeah. That, that's a crime when you read your own <laughs> thoughts that much into the Bible. That's right? tough. I got you. Look at this, right? I'm looking. If you ask me, uh -huh. hey, what time do you guys pray at the mosque? And I tell you, nobody knows but the Imam of the mosque. Nobody knows, right? I'm not saying that that's all I know about, like the Paul. I'm saying nobody knows. I'm clarifying. Not even the people who pray there, not even me, not even the students, only the Imam knows, mm -hmm. right? Uh -huh. That is a very clear statement. Uh -huh. If you keep asking me and I tell you, you know what? What does it matter to you what time they pray? Just uh -huh. show up at the mosque. Uh -huh. That is not saying that I know. Uh -huh. I'm just saying this is not something you should be worried about anyway. Okay. But it nowhere does it even indicate that Jesus knew. Uh huh. Thank you. All right. So now let's go over he's this again. Got a response ready. No, no, right? I, of course, I've heard yeah, all of this, yeah, man. Because he's so he just wants to refute it. So it, it, it's not just about refuting. I hope I hope to bring understanding. I know Good. we probably won't, but I hope so. just to get if it you out. Want to bring understanding? You got to open just, your mind to it. I. I, I Trust me, I, right. I hear everything that you're saying. Okay, good. Based on the statements alone, okay. on a shallow reading of it, it's very clear that it's a statement of ignorance off of a shallow reading of it. There's at least, at least we can, at least we can agree. It. Hold on, let's agree to one thing. Let's shake hands. We're, we're on friends. On what? On what? At least we can agree. Because <laughs> I got to make sure with no, you because no, no, you no, slip. Relax, relax, bro, relax. <laughs> at least you can say from a reading of the text, just the text by itself. See, there it is again. How is that? A, See? From a shallow reading. Like thank, thank you. You just Fix show it. ignorance, right? Huh? Okay, show that Jesus didn't know. No. What I'm, what I'm saying is based off a shallow reading of the okay. text, not understanding what you're reading, okay. it can seem like it's a, it's a statement of ignorance. Okay. But at, once you actually read into the text, right. we're, we're once you ahead. see the context, once you try to put your once thoughts you, into no, it. No, don't even got to do that. Okay. Once Go you ahead. see how the Bible uses the word no, Okay. And how and, and the attributes that are applied to Jesus, you know exactly what it's talking about. Okay. Because when Jesus gives detail upon detail, line upon line, about what's about to happen when he comes. True. Except he doesn't and know. No, it's not that at all. It and is. then, and then, not, not only that, and then he compares his coming to a Jewish wedding. Sure. And when we know that in a Jewish wedding, it's the father that announces the coming, gotcha. not the son, not the, the son bride. Knows. Yes, the son okay. knows when he's so, going to get so married. Now, now Wait, the, let me finish, ahead, please. You, ahead, you went on for a minute. I'm listening. Okay, so when we understand it beyond the shallow reading, but actually digging below the surface, doing the word study and the scripture study, I got doing you. exegesis, we can, and then using scripture to back up scripture, when we see Jesus is asked the same question, right. instead of saying, Oh, I told you, we don't know. Right. Instead of saying, I already told you guys, I don't know. He says it's not for you to know. Right. Doesn't the say days I know. that and then and then he emphasizes that it's this is this is what is fixed by the father's authority. Father. So it's not out of line exactly what I'm explaining, how it lines up with the Jewish tradition to the wedding and how it's the father that announces it. Not that the son is ignorant, and I showed you an example of how the word no is used in a declarative sense. Exactly what is going on here. It's not the example that you brought up. The example you brought up is a false analogy. The example here is a, a statement of declaration. It's not for the son or anybody else to declare it. And it's not for anybody else other than the son and the father and the spirit by that to know what exactly has happened in this day. 
That's are pretty you, clear. Are you done? I, I, I want to show you an example of, Jesus, of Jesus's I'm knowledge. I'm gonna let you finish, bro. Um, here, here's my question to you. Uh, for a mind to know God, can you know God fully with your finite mind? What do you mean by know God? Like, can you know everything about him? No. So it would take an uh, infinite mind to know yep. God fully, right? Okay, so Jesus himself says that no one knows the Father except the Son. Okay. And no one knows the Son except the Father who he chooses to reveal him. So if Jesus is saying that he is the only one who knows the Father, he knows God, right. everything about him, okay. knows him fully, doesn't that demonstrate that Jesus is explicitly claiming to have an omniscient mind? I'll let you finish. I'm asking this question. Okay, but I need to finish the earlier stuff too. We're no, we're, we're, no, we're not, we're not skipping that? nothing. You say you're trying to, you're trying to change it, the subject no, it's now, a flow. Right? It's a flow. Because you, you, you changed it from Messiah. You changed it from Messiah. Because we discussed that and I told you I'll bring you evidences back next week. So then, didn't I tell you that? You seem surprised right now, No, because right? no, you talked about Messiah. You talked about Messiah's nature. Messiah uh -huh. And the meaning of the word Messiah from the Quran, from a hadith, and who else it has been used for, that is what you asked for. I will bring it for you. No problem, right? Now you're trying to skip because you know that skip here what? You, have, you know you're trying to skip, but it's all right. Let me. I'm going with me, the flow, me, man. Me, you're trying to flow away from it, but I got you. <laughs> now let's say this very clearly, right? For you to say that Jesus knew, as the Father knew, meaning he knew everything, he just did not declare it. That is very different than from what Danny said. First off, right? It's a different explanation. It's a different no explanation. Problem. It cannot be both. Either he knew and didn't declare it, or at that time, that was something hidden from him, veiled from him, and he would then know it at a different time. It cannot be both. That is why that's a contradiction. No. Now. Yeah, I, I, I'll respond to that in a second. I'll respond to that in a second. Now, secondly, secondly, when I gave you a very clear example of how the word know is used differently, in the example you gave of Paul, right? which is where he says that all I know is this, which is showing an emphasis that is very different from saying that nobody knows it except one person. How? Those are, let me give you an example again, which I gave you, but you kind of- But hold on, who's worried about he, said I did, I, he said I knew nothing. Nothing, right? Sure. Except, so I it's the you. same example here. I'll give you same an example phraseology. right now, I'll give you an example, right? Which I gave already, but you're trying to, have a no, 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 don't, to, don't try to say it's different. Right? Let me you say just it. use the same when phrase. I, when I'm talking to Danny and uh -huh. he tells me, do you like football? And uh -huh. I tell you, all I know about is the Raiders. That's all I know about, right? I know nothing but the Raiders. I'm not meaning that I don't know anything else about football. I'm showing an emphasis on a certain subject or a certain team. Here, an emphasis is being given to Jesus and the, cru the crucifixion. That is not the same as somebody asking me, what exit do you take? And I say, nobody knows it except my son. That is a total different use of the word for you. Hold on, let me finish. Bro. See how I listen to you? I listen to you yeah, the you, whole you, time. Nah, you cut I in a lot. To you, let me finish. You cut in sometimes. Right. I, I, I told you I'm Inter listening interjected. to you and I stayed quiet until you finished. And then I asked you, are you finished? No, go ahead, go ahead, okay. go ahead. So here, when you bring another example, this is why I said this is criminal because what you're doing is the clear text read something and you're adding to it. When the text says that when is this, when is the restore of the kingdom of Israel and Jesus' response here is, don't worry about it. That's not for you to worry about the seasons. You're saying this means he knew. That is total reading into the text what you want, right? If you ask, and I'm gonna give this example again, even though it was very clear because you kinda hid it in your memory, right? If you ask me, what time is the prayer at the mosque? And I tell you, look, nobody knows the time, not even the people praying there, not even me, not even <coughs> anybody else, only the Imam knows, right? That is very specific. Now, if somebody else comes and asks me again, and out of frustration, I tell them, look, why are you worried about the timing? If you need to go to the prayer, just go to the mosque and you'll find it. That does not mean that I know. You're reading into it what is not in the text, right? And then you call it a shallow reading. It's not a shallow reading, it's a literal reading. And one is that you've already got a mindset made and then you're bringing different explanations to justify something. Contradictory explanations, just because you want to justify it and not stick to your text. All right, so remember I asked you what is a contradiction, right? Yes, So two things that cannot be. Cannot be, okay. Yes. So if, uh, if 
if Jesus is speaking from a declarative sense, okay, meaning that he knew, meaning that he knows, but he just but it's, want to it's not for him to declare. That's one right? thing. Right now, let's say he this this knowledge that he has is veiled. Does it mean that he doesn't know? Hold on, you asked, right? Yes. So the difference there is one is I know it. I'm just not going to declare it. The other is at that time it's hidden. I don't know it. No. And that's that, again, right? When it's hidden, when it's not accessible. I don't have that knowledge to share. I can't get to it. It's something hidden from no. me. And I, it's not just that I don't want to declare oh, it. Oh my right? goodness. Uzma. Those are two. Look, I gave you an example already, and, and you yeah. know about your Spanish class, right? If you studied something you're, in you're, Spanish. You're going too far. You're going hold too on, far. Hold on. Let me, let me just give you, this example no, you, again. You already gave it. Because it, it clarifies. No, it's, it's a simple if question. If you knew something in no, your no, Spanish class, let me just finish. No, it's a simple you question. You asked a question. I, let me finish. I'm not talking about something being reminded of me. You asked me a question, you got to listen to my answer. No, you're giving a whole. You're going off of something. I'm I asked something very something. specific. I'm giving you a specific answer. If you studied something in your Spanish class and you remember it, but you just don't want to declare I'm not talking it, about memory. Again, you're not letting me finish. Bro. Because you're going can off I, on a wrong analogy. Just let me finish and then you can take I don't want you, I don't want you to waste okay. time on a... On it's a, not wasting time. Yes, when I speak, it it's wasting time. Or when you speak, no, it's not. No, only it's not when like it's that. a, a false okay. analogy. I think all your analogies were false, but that, I still listen to you out of respect. Now... You're just not addressing what I'm saying. Let me just speak. I let you speak, let me speak. When you remembered something from your Spanish class and you were just not declaring it out of respect for somebody else, the Jewish wedding analogy that you gave, that is not the same as if that knowledge had been hidden for you at that time, you could not recall it. It might be in your subconscious, but you do not say it because it's not there. Those okay. are two different Contradictory thing. Thank you so you much. Know. What you just said is a contradictory. Thing. That's why I tried to Thank stop you. you from straw me. That's, that's I tried to stop you from well, wasting time. There. So it's it's okay. So when something is veiled, does that mean it doesn't exist? Yes or no? You want me to respond? It, yeah, with the yes no, or no. no, no, no I don't no, need no, a long no, explanation. Look, 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 you can't tell me how to respond. It's a yes you can or ask no. A question and I will respond my way. Yes or no? You want to answer? Listen. It's a yes or no. You want to answer? I don't need a, a long explanation. Look, you, you, you're not you're not a judge, right? It's not a courtroom. You can't tell me answers. No, Uthma, it's if you very ask simple. Question, or ask it back to me. Uh, I can, I ask no, it back I'm to me. I can give you. you no, know, I'm not your puppet, bro. I'm not gonna pull my strings. It's here, not guy. about that. I'm ask just trying to demonstrate to, to you. It's, no, it's a very simple listen, question. Listen, if you have access to the knowledge, when if you have it and don't declare it, that is not the same as if it's hidden from you and you don't have it accessible at the time. All right, all right. two. Different Very good. Thing. All right, so here's my question to you. If something is veiled, right. does it mean that you don't have access to that thing yes. anymore? Really? At that moment, yes. Okay, yeah. so... Right, that's exactly what it means. Hidden oh, from you that, at that time. Oh, okay, very good. It might so, come back to you. So we'll, we'll see how, how consistent you are. Okay. So does Allah not have a veil? Let me explain it to you. Allah, let me explain it. You asked a question. It's a yes it. or no. Let me answer a question. No, it's not a yes or no. This is where you want to try to trick it's me. It's either he has a veil or he doesn't sure. have a veil. If you're talking about his knowledge, there is no veil in the knowledge of Allah. I didn't Allah ask that. Allah knows everything. His veil from us is that we cannot see him in this worldly life. Great. That's it. So it does Allah have a veil, yes or no? Again, you're, you're confusing two different things and I'm not no, going to let I'm you. No, I'm not. I'm not going to let no, you. No, I'm not. I feel where you're you going. See it Don't think you can do it. Now. There is a what, difference. What, what is there Allah's veil? It's a nude. It's a light. Exactly. That stops from us from seeing Him. Okay. In but, this world, what, light. what happens if He removes it? Then we see it. We see Allah. And what happens? No, 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 no. No. What? According, what happens if Allah removes the light that veils His glory? What is, wait, first of all, what is what is? Again, this has got nothing to do with what we're talking about. No, so, no, it does because we're talking it's about veil. Like, no, and it. what you're doing Sorry. is you're saying that because something is veiled, yes. that means you don't have access to Excellent. it anymore. So let's do that. Wait, if, let, hold if, on, I'm not done, please. Asks me, hold on, Uthman. Have you seen Allah? Uthman, I'm I will not done. Say no, there's a veil. I'm not done. It doesn't mean that I'm Allah not done. is there. Of course, I'm not done. Right, but because there's a veil, I have no so access I, so to see I, Allah. I like how you did that. I like how you did that. Good. So if we keep that same energy as we go, keep going. All right. So, oh, so when good. Allah says that He has a veil, yes. what does uh, what do, what is Allah veiling? What exactly is He veiling? Himself and His glory from the creation. Very he's good. Not ready for it. So, yeah. if He's veiling His glory, yeah. does that mean that He doesn't have access to His glory anymore? Okay. Again, you made a mistake there. He's not veiling His glory from Himself. So? It's from us. We do what? not have. 
Yeah, from us. Well, you didn't know that? Who cares? He thought he was veiling himself it's from himself. It's a veil. Himself? Again. It's a veil. Okay, now let me... Let, you see, this is where you're... I had such like high hopes that maybe after this time you had kind of gotten better, but you're disappointed. So uh, me, I know, I'm, I'm disappointed at this point right, as well. Right, so let's do this, we, we're, okay? we're both mutual here. Gotcha. <laughs> if you will yourself from us, the uh -huh. veil from us, mm -hmm. you are not, you are complete. We don't have access to you. Correct. Right. Now, if you're saying Jesus had the knowledge and it was veiled from him, that means Jesus did not have access to it. No. As we do not see Allah in this world. No. That is, you know you're done. You know no, done. no, no, what, no, what's, done, no, what, what's done, done is, done, done. no, what's now, done is, is when you said, no, 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 because no, no, you cut Allah's in. Action. When you said, when you said that to have a veil means that you don't have access to that thing anymore. Exactly. That's exactly what you that said. That is true. So, when we, you, so, now, so now you know the trouble you're in. Now you know, Allah. stop it, you're in trouble because Allah has a veil, he veils his glory. So if me, if having a veil means that you don't have access to that thing anymore, then that means Allah doesn't have access to that Who's glory anymore. From? That's ridiculous. Who's the veil from? It's ridiculous. Who's the veil from? Whether, it, it doesn't so matter what's a veil from or not. It's a veil regardless. Let me explain this again, right? It's a veil regardless. You're in trouble. No, I'm not in trouble. You're, you're in trouble. You're trying to get out of this, all right? You're in trouble. When Allah veils from us, you gotta pick your words we, carefully. We do not have access to Allah in sure. this world, right? But Allah, the world is not veiled from Allah. But you said the knowledge is veiled from Jesus. So that would mean Jesus would not have access no, to the knowledge. Not, not the knowledge oh to Jesus. Goodness. And you know you're in trouble no, now. You're absolutely not. Absolutely your not. Example absolutely not. Absolutely Allah not. Has so, to, oh no, let no. me finish. Allah has complete knowledge. Mm -hmm. None of the knowledge of Allah is ever hidden from Him. Mm -hmm. He has access to His knowledge at all times. Mm -hmm. None of His knowledge is hidden from Him. Allah is subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah, no He's problem. above all of that, right? Mm -hmm. We are veiled. We do not see the Allah directly in this life. Mm. But that doesn't mean Allah doesn't see us. Allah sees everything. He's Alim and Basir, right? Allah has access to all of His glory, all of His knowledge at all times. Mm. We have a veil between us and Allah. Mm. Now, when your example, Jesus had the veil between Him and the knowledge. This is where you tried to trick and got caught. Jesus, He said that there was a veil. And then you said He did have the knowledge, which are two contradictory no, examples. It's not. And then you try to get out of it. No, so you, you said did, he oh. had the knowledge, just didn't want to declare it. What you he said that there was a veil, it was hidden from Jesus at that time. He did not have access to that knowledge. Two different things, and you know that. All right, so you done? Yeah, I'm done. All right, so the, I, it's interesting to me how inconsistent you are with this whole veil thing now. I think it was pretty so, consistent. There, so buddy. what what I what 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 Danny has to describe to you, mm -hmm. and what we're talking about, which you gave is, a different discrimination. Explanation to right? can I can I go? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you, man. Let me rock. I right, go for it. Okay. Rock, rock on. <laughs> so, when it's talking about veiling the knowledge, okay. it's so we're talking about in Jesus, who has a divine nature and a human nature. Okay. So we're talking about two natures that are united in one person. Okay. So you got a human consciousness, a divine consciousness, where Jesus is a uh, living with the human consciousness like and and that's that's how he's at that's how he's limiting himself freely using this if he wanted to he can access his divine attributes let me, uh, let me finish please okay, let me lay this out it. let me lay this out for you before you try to cut see i'm just trying see, to understand what you're trying you're I'm already trying thinking of a rebuttal I, no i'm not you're already I, I think you're already thinking of a response saying. you're not I'm even not, listening not a response my, my I'm, just, I'm just trying to sound like you. i'm just those I'm, I'm just two two natures, no, let, let me just let me just go two natures united let me just go let me just go so when you have when you're talking about jesus here okay and him veiling with his example saying that no that he knows. veiled this knowledge, this divine attribute okay. of his knowledge. Okay. It's not that he doesn't have access to it. If he wanted to, okay. he can unveil it if he wanted to. That doesn't mean that. that it's not there. But, but the so that's, no oh, one let knows. me finish, please. Okay, so that's why I asked you, do you know what a contradiction is? Yes. Because a contradiction is saying, because you're trying to say that if Jesus veiled that knowledge, that means he didn't know it. That's what your that's what your position that's is. That's what he said. No, that's not we'll, what he we'll said. Say what he said. That's not what he said. We have a recording. He's, Inshallah, he, we'll play. If he has access to that knowledge, okay. he can bring it out if he wants. Okay. In his example. Okay. But he valid. He's but valid. Example, living as a human. But in I mean, your example, you're, was cut, not veiled, you're right? cutting me. Okay. Go ahead. I'm you're just trying to understand me. your example. You know, see. Go ahead. When I did that. All right. Go ahead. Thank you. So, the, what I'm trying to show you is, even in his example, there's no contradiction. Okay. It's a different explanation, yes, but it's not a contradiction because I'm saying that Jesus knows 
and he's not saying vetted. and he's saying that his no i'm not saying i'm not saying anything about not being vetted or anything look, i didn't look, say look, anything look, about look, being right veiled. here right here now you're trying to jump Earlier no you Uthman, said, did i say anything about veil? did me, i bring up a veil let me ask you that did I? No, let me no, 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 because when you brought this up, okay. did I say anything I about a veil? I you finish what you're saying. No, I'm asking you straight up. You did said. Did I say anything about a veil? No, you didn't. Thank you. You said he knew. Thank you. You said he, so, was, right, he so, knew it. All right, so right? stick there. It was not hidden from so, him. So stick there. It was there. not veiled from him. Stick there. You no, said no, no, no. he knew Stop it. Stop here. He just didn't want to declare it. Stop here. He said Uthman, it was veiled. No, you're going, no, no, you're no, going no, over no, me no, now. No, 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 I, See. That's I, why I let you finish, right? No, no, I wasn't done. Okay, go ahead. I asked you specifically, did I say this or not so that I can speaking. continue? Okay, go ahead. Okay, so thank you for admitting that I didn't say anything about veiling of knowledge or anything like that. I said Jesus knows. In his example, with Jesus' knowledge being veiled, does not necessitate that he doesn't know. It's just veiled knowledge. So those are not contradictory statements. You're trying to say that they're contradictory. They're not contradictory. I will let you finish. So I, even though I didn't bring up anything about a veil, I don't have to because he's not, his explanation doesn't contradict my explanation. It's just a different explanation. And so when you're going about this, and you're talking about if something is veiled, then you, it means you don't have access to it anymore. Then you're in trouble because Allah has a veil. And you're saying that by your knowledge, by your logic, Allah doesn't have access to his glory anymore. Here's an example. No, give me. No, I want. No, I'm not lying anything. No, hold on. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. Because I want to give you an example of Jesus unveiling himself. So you have uh, the mountain of transfiguration. There was there. Huh? No, I'm, I'm giving you an example okay. of Jesus because uh, I'm showing you how it's not so a contradiction. There was no veil anyway, right? I, I didn't say anything like that. So, <laughs> no, what, what are you chuckling okay. for? You admitted I, that I didn't I, say anything about a veil. I let you finish. So please I'm just listen to me. Listen to me. Okay. All right, good. So look, what I want to show you is an example of Jesus unveiling himself. Okay. And what that means is, is what you said is false, meaning that if Jesus veiled something, it means he doesn't have access to it anymore. That's okay. false. Because veiling, just because he veils it doesn't mean he can't unveil it when he wants. He has access to it when he wants. So on the, math, on the Mount of Transfiguration, Matthew chapter 17, I believe it is, Jesus is on the mountain and he unveils, comes out of his human nature in, this, in, in a, some form, and now he's just shining bright. His form, his simil uh, similitude, is just shining bright like, like the sun, it describes it. Okay. And so, and this is when uh, Moses comes down and Elijah come down and they're talking with him. And then the father speaks and says, this is my son, listen to him, okay. right? And so this is an example of Jesus unveiling and showing a glimpse of his nature. And this showing that he has access to it. This is Matthew chapter 17. No, no, I'm saying chronologically, before or after crucifixion. This is before the crucifixion. Okay, go ahead. So he has access to this. Okay. But he chooses to veil it, chooses to unveil it whenever he wants. Gotcha. Jesus had knowledge of pe what people were thinking. Okay. Jesus had knowledge of, 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 of when people were uh, uh, accusing him of blasphemy in their hearts. Gotcha. The Bible says, and even the Quran says, that only Allah knows what's in the mind of man. Not only Allah knows what's in the hearts. Is that correct? Look again, you're jumping from the subject. No, no, I'm not know. jumping on the you subject. Are. You really are. I'm not I just jumping let on you the subject. Finish this whole tirade. No, and instead of I'm letting not... you respond, now, now you're like, does Allah know everything? No, of look, Allah it's, knows a, everything, it's a conversation. But Allah revealed. No, no, you're jumping from the. No, I'm not jumping. You I'm, are. I'm. You know look, I'm adding. I'm subject. adding nuggets you're to give you the full you're picture. You just want the. You want the shallow understanding. I want to keep to the text. I want to help you. No, 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 no. You're not trying to help me. I am trying to help you, Uthman. But we'll go back to it. I'm trying to help you. But I'm not gonna let you escape this. There's no escape. You gotta learn it, man. can I? You just gotta learn it. Are you done? You just gotta learn it. Are you done? Wait, so did you answer? You didn't answer my question. No, no. I'm, I'm gonna answer when you're done. I'm listening. No, to it's you. look. No, it, I'm listening. It's a conversation. It's it is. So let me speak then. So we gotta. We, okay. we can go back and I forth. You. I got you. So, so I, when so you're I, done I, speaking, I, I, okay. then I will speak. If it's right, conversation. No. You have to let me. Speak. So can I ask you, and you can answer quickly, so then I, I can land my plane. I, I will answer all of the things that you've mentioned, and then get. To no, that, I don't. I don't need that. What you're doing is you're throwing points, and you don't want me to respond. What are you talking about? I just asked you a simple question. Are you done speaking? I'm not done speaking. Okay, then. So, so, bro, Uthman, this is not how a conversation works. See, now so, you know so, you don't want to listen to me. That's why you're gonna. It's not about Go that. Ahead. You know I'm a good I listener. Listen to you. no, Uthman, you're, not, man. I'm, right you're now, telling me I'm not a good right listener. No, you're not. 
right? Oh. Because right now, I listen to this whole my, thing. My feelings are hurt, man. You, finish, all right? you know I'm Enough. a good listener. If you're a good listener, show it. Oh, man. Like, don't say it. Wait, are you a good listener, too? I am. That's why I okay. listen to this whole time. Oh, whoa. We, look, we both interjected on each other. No, no. And that's I, natural right in a conversation. Now, I've been tasking you, are you done? I'm listening to right you. Right now, you have been, so but I'm you've been to trying to done. interject earlier. So can, so can you answer the question? Are you done speaking, sir? Can you answer the question? I will. When so, I pray. Do, so doesn't the Quran okay. say that only Allah knows what's in the hearts and minds Are of you man? Done speaking? Um, that's my question so that I can land my plane. Are you done speaking? Can I speak? Your, your quick answer no, will help no, me. No, 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 no. I listened to you. I had a lot of questions there, but I stayed quiet. I listened no, to you. No, bro. Now that's you, not how this is going on. Yes, we're, yes, we're standing here sitting. We're sitting here watching. Can you finish speaking? We're sitting here watching this. Finish. Now let me speak. I'm asking a simple question. Okay. Can I speak now? I, I just want to okay. land my Thank plane you. off of your basic okay. answer. Okay. Now, Does the Quran answer, say that? My answer. Okay. <laughs> Allah is the only one that knows everything, but Allah reveals knowledge to his prophets of unseen things that he makes apparent to them. Some things that were shown to the prophet Muhammad, shown to the prophet Moses, shown to the prophet Jesus, were things that we couldn't see, mm. but Allah revealed it. But Allah is the only one that knows everything. As the biblical verses, Father is the only one that knows the hour. Now, your explanation why it falls on his face is because the things are recorded. Earlier, yeah, these things are Danny, recorded. Alhamdulillah. Earlier, Danny, Alhamdulillah. At least, that, <laughs> at least you got that the word Allah down there, right? Now, earlier, Danny said, and we've got it, inshallah, I hope it was recorded, yeah, yeah, right? So too. Where he said that, for example, if he asked me, what does Zapatos mean? And I forgot, I didn't remember at that time, it was my subconscious, right? Right. At that time, I don't have access to it. I couldn't give you an answer until somebody reminds me. That was Danny's explanation, and I appreciate his honesty that he at least he's admitting to it. Your explanation was contradictory to that. Let me explain why. Oh my God, I already There's, broke this down. Again, bro. again, this is I'm why. This you. is why. Don't interrupt now, right? If I don't remember the name for Zapatos, then that knowledge is not that I'm not declaring. It is hidden from me, something I don't know. You said he did know. At that moment, he could have said. He could have given the answer, but due to the glory of God, he decided not to. Those cannot both be either. I don't remember. And when somebody reminds me, it might come back to me. Or I do remember, but I don't say it due to respect for somebody else. Those are contradictory. They cannot both be. And you're trying to escape from it, but you're not going to because it's on tape it's on video it's there right mashallah. now mashallah <laughs> <laughs> i'm learning man i'm learning all the language i'm glad you're learning man i hope you're learning more than just the language right now regarding the veil that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has from us why is that similitude not acceptable because the veil is not from allah and his own knowledge like jesus here if jesus if that's what you're saying that he didn't know at that time that knowledge was hidden from him that means there's a barrier to him and the knowledge the veil is not from Allah and His glory, the veil is from us seeing Allah. It is true that in this world, we don't physically see God. We don't see God with our own eyes. That is something above us. In the hereafter, we will. But that does not restrict Allah any. His glory, His sight, His knowledge is always complete. Nothing is hidden from Him, nothing is taken away from Him. That, is, uh, that, that example is incorrect. Okay. Uh, now we're going to pray. We can, we can wait, we can do after prayer. I, I think that's I think that, I think that's good enough. No, I want to say thank you, man. Appreciate it. Bro. Stay safe, dude. Appreciate it. Okay. One thing I'm gonna say, look, no matter what, you can get here. Yep. So we just had a good conversation with the Sheikh. Uh, we talked about um, the, mess the messianic view in Islam um, and where this meaning comes from. If it's special to Jesus or if anybody else can uh, be applied this title. Uh, Uthman suggested that other people can, uh, and, which was interesting, coming from a shape. So I didn't expect that, um, but you know, no reference was given. He said that he could come up with a reference, so we'll uh, we'll see what it comes up with. But you know, when we started talking about, uh, kind of got changed from the knowledge of Jesus and whether his knowledge is equal to the Father, whether he's not knowing, right? So their issue is with the Messiah and his nature. If he's divine or is he just human, just a prophet or a messenger? Um, and what we've shown through the Bible is how Jesus in Mark 13, 32, explaining everything in context, in detail, talks about everything that's going to happen and then makes a declarative statement about him not knowing the hour, not out of ignorance, but 
meaning that he is not the one to make known this hour and this time. This is for the Father's uh, own glory and his authority. So it was a good conversation. I love you, Sheikh Uthman. Uh, this is fun. So we're out. Perfect. Perfect.